Let's go! Will Georgia run the table and be one of the best college football teams of all time? Or are they going to choke away the opportunity to be the first SEC 15-0 team since, obviously, the great 2019 LSU? Today, I'm going to give you one stat that may or may not shock you, but... This is not a good thing if you are a Georgia Bulldog fan. Boom! I'm looking at you. Yes, you right now. So I know you've already subscribed and rang the bell. And while this Kenny McIntosh run happens in the backfield, backfield, in the background, I want to include that we're actually going to talk about a lot of different SEC teams because, well, they have also struggled to overcome it. And we are going to talk about 2019 LSU because they were actually the last team to actually overcome this trend. And that is winning consecutive back-to-back -back road games in the SEC. And I'm talking about true road games. Georgia has to go to Mississippi State and to Kentucky. Now, that's not two of the best teams in the SEC. They're probably not two of the five best teams in the SEC. Two of them are on your screen right now. I would still have Alabama and LSU over those schools, and maybe one of those could be the fifth team, but I, I, I still doubt that. I think you'd probably have to give that to Ole Miss. So, yes, these two teams are not that good, right? But they're decent. They are a team that can beat you over these next couple of weeks. And Georgia fans, keep in mind, the last time you played a true road game was versus Missouri. One of the bottom three or four teams in the SEC. And you almost got beat. Now, keyword almost, but still, you almost got beat. So, you know, truth be told... This is going to be a really difficult stretch of games, especially after a very emotional win over Tennessee. Now, that's not to say that you can't overcome it. If there were a team to do it, it would be Georgia with the offensive line that they have, with Stetson Bennett having the season that he's having. And, of course, Georgia's defense and special teams has been really solid this year. And Kirby, of course, is one of the best coaches in the country so what i see and i've already done a deep dive on this where there's a lot of yard per play and efficiency data on my power hour lsu channel because it, i know it looks weird it's a mike leach um thumbnail but you know i actually bet lsu pretty heavy versus mississippi state earlier this year because of this stat uh mississippi state fell apart in the second half of the game versus LSU, and it was because the week before they had to go to Arizona and 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 beat a somewhat decent Arizona team. So, yes, it is just hard to do it. It's hard to overcome, and teams are rarely sharp in back-to-back -back games. So, this is actually going to be really tough for Georgia. Now, what have other teams done in this? similar scenario this year well Alabama just lost to LSU they go to um Oxford uh, this weekend and we'll see if they're able uh to beat Ole Miss but of course they lost the front end Arkansas lost the front end to Mississippi State but they're able to beat BYU the next week Florida does have a back-to-back -back road game scenario at Vandy at Florida State to end the year um obviously Georgia right now LSU doesn't have a true back-to-back -back road game scenario we already mentioned Mississippi State Missouri has no back-to-back -back road games. LSU uh, uh, beat Ole Miss on the front end. Ole Miss was able to take care of business versus A&M. Um, South Carolina might actually break this trend this weekend. They beat at Vanderbilt, but now they are at Florida this weekend. So look, uh, if South Carolina is able to pull the upset, I know they're a nine-point underdog, they would actually break this trend this weekend. But We'll see. I think the Gators are actually going to come out and look pretty good. Um, at South Carolina, at Vanderbilt to end the year for Tennessee. So right there, you have one of the country's best teams. I wanted the SEC, one of the country, the number five ranked team in the country, according to the College Football Playoff Committee. 
man, if Tennessee can't beat South Carolina and Vanderbilt in back-to-back weeks, this really is a real thing, but that's not until the final two weeks of the year. And then at uh, Texas A&M earlier this year, at Mississippi State and at Bama, they, of course, lost both of those games. So if you want to see every game, I think I did it since 2017, I will link the Power Hour LSU video down below and you could check out everything for yourself. I did not include 2020 back-to-back road games because it was Zerona. So many people were in and out of lineups and there weren't true crowds. As many of you know, stadiums were at half capacity. Boom! I'm looking at you. Yes, you. And I hope you get us to a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate all the support and love for the channel. Now, Will Georgia actually overcome it? I don't think that they will until I actually see it happen. Now, are they good enough? Yeah, like we've stated, Stetson been a really good quarterback. Georgia, of course, they are a very complete team, good special teams, all that good stuff. But, I mean, look, 2019 LSU was the last team, as we mentioned a little bit earlier, to actually overcome this. And they actually were kind of sort of in the same spot Georgia is in right now before this weekend versus Mississippi State. So LSU that year went on the road and played Alabama, and they played a game of the century, 230 CBS kickoff, very emotional, ridiculously high rating game. And of course, LSU was triumphant, but the very next week they had to go to Ole Miss and they played an unbelievable performance offensively, but defensively, Dave Aranda's D gave up 8.8 yards per play against true freshman quarterback John Rice Plumley, who doesn't even play for a Power 5 team anymore. So it was part of the reason why their defense struggled. And if you want to again take a look at the Mike Leach video that we linked earlier in this video, um, you look defensively is where the struggles really begin. Now, Mississippi State and Kentucky have been very clunky defensively. They lack some explosiveness at skill position plays, uh, players, excuse me. But man, I I would be very careful if you're Georgia over these next few weeks because you know you're still buzzing about the Tennessee game. It, it's going to be hard, and I know if Kirby were to lose one of these next two games, a lot of people would view it, you know, kind of as a choke job. And honestly. It would be because Kentucky and Mississippi State are, once again, decent teams. But in a way, it's not because, you know, you you take a look at the Georgia program in and of itself. You rarely play true road games anyway. You play a lot of neutral side games in Atlanta, right? Um, Obviously, Clemson last year, this year against Oregon. Uh, You play the neutral side game every year versus Florida, which is honestly a very, you know, split crowd in Jacksonville. Um, It's tough right? Because you rarely actually do this. You rarely do this as a college football player at any Power 5 university. So, man, I I actually I actually think George is going to drop one of these. I don't know who it's going to be to, um, but I'm telling you, if this stat still exists with Tennessee ending the year with two very bad teams, arguably uh, two of the worst, worst teams in the SEC, man, that would be something else. So, let me know in the comment section down below if you think uh, this Georgia team is going to run the table and go undefeated. Um, and and we'll, we'll see if it actually uh, comes to fruition. Now, I will say this. I don't dislike Georgia at all. Like, I should have never doubted you guys. I picked Tennessee to win the East. Never doubt the dogs. But I'm doing it one final time. Can you break the curse? Heck, South Carolina might break it this weekend. We'll see. It is. Power, our, S-E-C, bam! And tonight, we're doing some lemon pepper chicken wings. Let's go!